Every day, I get several messages from Muslims saying something like this, David, you talk about Muhammad in front of your books because you're too scared to say these things in front of Zakir Naik. To you Muslims who think that Christian debaters are scared of Zakir Naik, I'd just like to ask, what color is the sky in your world? Because here on Planet Reality, Zakir Naik is a joke. Zakir Naik is a joke, and I'm not saying that because I disagree with him. I'm saying it because he's a complete joke. Let me give you three quick reasons. First, Zakir Naik portrays himself as a champion debater, but he's never faced one actual Christian debater in his entire career. Compare Naik with someone like Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali has debated William Lane Craig multiple times. He's debated James White multiple times. He's debated Jay Smith multiple times. He's debated Mike Lacona multiple times. He's debated Tony Costa multiple times. He's debated me multiple times. He's debated Sam Shimon and Samuel Green and Jonathan McClatchy and Nabil Qureshi. Shabir Ali obviously isn't scared to face experienced Christian debaters. Look up Zakir Naik's debates and you'll find that he's debated a handful of people you've never heard of. The only person Zakir Naik has ever debated that I've even heard of was William Campbell. And William Campbell wasn't a debater, he was a writer. Naik knew he wasn't a debater, that's why he agreed to debate him. Naik only agrees to face people who either have no debate experience or know nothing about Islam. Those of us who debate regularly and who deal with Islam regularly, Naik won't come near us. And we've been challenging him for years. Here's a debate challenge we sent him nearly eight years ago. I've challenged him to debate. Hence, if we take Zucker Knight seriously, which we can never do, the by So as you've seen from the uh, two videos uh, back in 2016, David Wood, David Wood says that Dr. Zucker Knight is a joke, and he gives some reasons uh, why he thinks so. In 2022, years later, David Wood is basically saying that Zucker Knight is not to be taken seriously. Now, you might be asking if Zucker Naik is a joke, according to David Wood, and if Zucker Naik can't be taken seriously, um, why is David Wood giving so much time and energy making videos against Zucker Naik? And the reason for this has to do with David Wood's personality. Now, David Wood has, I, I think he has something called histrionic personality disorder what that means is that the person with that disorder needs attention they need all eyes and ears on them so the thing with david wood is he is i don't i don't know a bigger attention whore i don't know a bigger attention seeker than david wood it's absolutely amazing what this man will do to get attention for himself absolutely stunning uh, you know, it's unbelievable what the, the lengths David Wood will go to to get attention for himself. Uh, you know, so basically, if you really want to know why David Wood is going after Zachary Nike in his latest videos, it's because he want, David Wood wants attention from Dr. Zachary Nike's fans. The thing with David Wood is I figured him out. He, David Wood needs attention from Pacific people. Sometimes he needs attention from Muslims. Sometimes he needs attention from Christians. 
especially when it comes to funding issues and he needs attention from specific muslims at specific times so in this particular case he needs attention from Zakir Naik fans, from Dr. Zakir Naik fans. So how do you do that? You just keep blasting Zakir Naik or you keep making videos against Zakir Naik and Dr. Zakir Naik fans will see the video and start commenting and start giving David Wood the attention that he wants. Uh, so this whole the whole reason why David Wood is going after Dr. Zakir Naik is to get the attention from Dr. Zakir Naik fans now this is low this is stupid and this is basically unethical but <laughs> those are the three things that describe david wood right so you know this whole thing so this whole going after dr zucker nike is an attention ploy is a ploy to get attention for himself now a lot of muslims at least in north america don't take dr zucker nike seriously shabir ali is taken to be more serious Shabir Ali is taken more seriously than Dr. Zakir Naik. Dr. Zakir Naik has a huge following in India and in Asia uh, and I think in the Middle East. So David Wood wants the attention from those people in the international areas. Uh, the international areas being India, the Middle East, Dubai, uh, uh, where else? Malaysia. You know, the, the, the places where Dr. Zak or Indonesia, the places where Dr. Zak and Ike is more popular. So he wants the attention from those f international fans of Dr. Zak and Ike to pay attention to uh, David Wood's video. So, you know, I figured out I figured out this whole thing because Dr. Zak and Ike has a huge following in India, especially in India and uh, Malaysia and Indonesia, et cetera, et cetera. So, like, if you pay attention to David Wood's videos a few years ago, I don't remember, but I, I think it's that same Dr. Zach Nike as a joke video. Anyways, uh, you know, the thing with Dr. Zach Nike is when he debates, he asks for 10,000 people to be in his, uh, in the, uh, in the debate. So, with 10,000 people being in a debate between Dr. Zakir Naik and David Wood, that's exactly what David Wood wants. He wants the attention from those thousands of fans of Dr. Zakir Naik. So this whole thing is a attention ploy because David Wood will always, you know, he'll always be seeking attention from the wrong people. Like he'll always be seeking attention from specific people, even when those specific people don't want to give him the attention he so desperately craves. So, you know, that's, that's just my theory on why why David Wood is going after Dr. Zucker Nike in his latest videos is just to get the attention from Dr. Zucker Nike fans. And, you know, it's not going to, well, it might work a little bit, but it's not, you know, ultimately they're not going to be swayed by David Wood's um, arguments against Dr. Zucker Nike. Now, I, I agree with Wood on one thing that he's, that, uh, Dr. Zakir Naik is not taken seriously. That That's true. The only people who are obsessed with Dr. Zakir Naik, at least in North America, are Christians like David Wood because they want the attention from Dr. Zakir Naik fans. But Shabir Ali is a lot better than uh, Zakir Naik, at least when it comes to scholarship, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I used to listen to Dr. Zakir Naik way back in the day. Back what fifteen years ago, I used to listen to Doctor Zakir Naik. Now I don't pay I don't pay attention to Zakir Naik. I just pay attention to uh, Doctor Shabir Ali. I think he's Shabir Ali would probably be the best Muslim apologist uh, right now. Uh, and who else? Um, I, I think that's pretty much about it. But anyways, you know, besides getting into you know who's the best Muslim apologist, etc. That that's not the point of this video. The point is why he why David Wood is going after Doctor Zakir Naik, and the reason why is just to get the attention from you know the international fans of David Wood, the fans in India, the fans in Dubai, and the fans in Malaysia or Indonesia, etc. So he wants the attention, the international attention on from David uh, from Dr. Zucker Nike's fans to David Woods uh he, he David Woods videos. So basically this whole thing is, you know, a cry for attention from a specific fan base of Dr. Zucker Nike and that's the international fan base of Dr. Zucker Nike. That's why he keeps making videos against Dr. Zucker Nike or calling Zucker Nike out. Uh I know I think Dr. Zucker Nike is smart not to engage with David Wood because he knows 
that he doesn't want to waste his time with David Wood and he doesn't want to make David Wood popular amongst Dr. Zucker Nike's fans. So, you know, Dr. Zucker Nike is just, is just ignoring him. He's just, you know, he's, he's not, he's not uh, taking the bait. He's not uh, falling for David Wood's trap, right? Attention seeking uh, ploy or attention. He's not falling for David Wood's attention seeking uh, ploy or trap. So Dr. Zucker Knight can see through the bullshit of David Wood. So that's that's just my whole two cents on why he's going after Dr. Zucker Knight. You know, it's kind of it's kind of obvious that the whole thing's just a ploy to get attention. So when when you're des when you're this desperate for attention, then there's something wrong with you. It's not there's something wrong with you in not the person you're attacking uh you know so that's just my two cents on the whole david wood and dr zucker Nike drama or the whole david wood going after dr zucker Nike in his uh, videos i can i know what's going on right i know what david wood is after he's after the attention from the fans he's not after the truth david wood is not after the truth he's after the attention so, you know, when you, when, when you're after, when you go after the wrong things, what's that saying? The road to hell is paved with good intentions, right? Right. But in David Wood's case, <laughs> the road to hell is paved when you're trying to get, when you're trying to seek the wrong attention. So, you know, that, that's just the, uh, that's just my whole two cents. That's just my two cents on this whole, uh, thing. So stay tuned. More videos are coming up soon and uh, there's going to be a new format for these uh, videos. So, you know, if you're, if, if you're liking the format, it's going to, it's going to change through something better. So stay tuned. A lot of good things are happening up, are happening in this channel very soon.